All right guys, welcome to my first video of NHL 21 and it had to be a tutorial for the brand new Michigan slash Sveshnikov slash lacrosse slash whatever you want to call it goal. I'm not gonna lie, the second I got the game, I started grinding this out in practice mode immediately until I got it down and I think I have a pretty good handle on it now so hopefully this video is gonna help you do the same. The first thing I did and the first thing I think you want to do is go into practice mode, select the NHL Alumni All-Stars, and select either Gretzky or Lemieux. This move can be executed with other players, but I think using Gretzky if you prefer lefties or Lemieux if you prefer righties is just a good way to get the timing down and get a good feel for what makes the move work. The controls are not super complicated in my opinion. The most complicated thing about the deke is getting the timing down and positioning yourself correctly to make sure you keep the puck on your stick the whole way and get your shot on net. So the first thing you're going to do is hold the puck out on your forehand side, so 3 o'clock if you're a righty, 9 o'clock if you're a lefty. The next thing you'll want to do is press and hold L1, followed by clicking in the right stick and holding it down. This will cause your player to kind of bend down like so and prepare to lift the puck on his stick. The next part is the most difficult as this is where that timing comes in. From this position you're going to roll your right stick in a half circle while keeping the right stick pressed in. So 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock if you're a righty and 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock if you're a lefty. Start slower than you think you would need to go and then work your way up to find that sweet spot and eventually you should see your player start to lift the puck and hopefully complete the deke. I would just start in the open ice at a standstill until you, until you start lifting the puck consistently and then try standing behind the net to get the puck to actually go in. If you're a righty you should stand about here and lefties should just mirror this position on the other side of the net. You can also score this as a breakaway move in front of the net like so. Now, scoring this while skating with speed behind the net is a completely different animal because you're going to get a totally different animation that requires slightly different timing. If you skate along the boards behind the net and get into your set position, you know, holding the puck on your forehand, holding L1, then clicking in that right stick if you just do that, you're going to notice that your skater will completely turn their back to the boards and start skating heel to heel. You'll need to hold down the right stick longer when doing this to complete this full animation and you don't want to start rolling the stick in a half circle until this animation is complete and your player is skating heel to heel. Ideally, you want to start the move about once you hit the trapezoid and start rolling the stick right before you reach the far post. I know some people have said they start back skating when trying to do this and you don't need to do that as long as you're skating at the right angle just parallel with the boards um, and click in that stick you're gonna start skating backwards anyway so that's not necessary I've also found just generally more consistency with this move when I wait in the set position for about a second before I start rolling the right stick whether I'm behind the net standing still or moving I also uh, feel like your player's speed matters, as I've had more success when I'm not skating full speed. Also remember that if you're trying to score while skating behind the net, you want to skate parallel with the boards. If you try to cut in at an angle, you aren't going to get the heel to heel animation and you won't be able to score. To be honest, I don't think the actual sticking for this move is super complicated. The biggest barriers to getting this deke to work are getting the timing down when rolling the right stick and just having a player with really, really high deking. Obviously when it comes to EASHL, there's no way to get hands like Gretzky or Lemieux who have 99 deking. So even when going into practice mode with very high rated players uh, with mid 90s deking and doing the same things I did with Lemieux, my success rate dropped noticeably. So your best bet in EASHL though is to use the Dangler class with 95 deking. I was actually able to score with the move uh, in practice mode using the base dangler which just has 90 deking but it's really a crapshoot. So grab the dangler class, add dirty dangler 2, and that'll boost your deking up to 95 which is the highest you can get in EASHL. Uh, you unlock that at level 10 and that's going to give you your absolute best chance to score with this move in EASHL. 
With this build, I was able to score with the move in practice mode very consistently. Uh, that being said, when going online against people that are trying to take the puck away from you and defend their net, it is going to be incredibly hard to score this goal against other users. I find that when you're in an actual game and you're skating around and people are chasing you, it really messes up your timing, but also they're just blopping, blocking your path uh, to the net and scoring with this move. Uh, me and a group of friends played a handful of games where we all tried to do this in EASHL 3s, and this is the closest I got. Pretty much once we attempted it a few times, most teams kind of realized what we were doing and just shut us down behind the net, and after that it was really hard to get any chances. To be honest though, I think in the coming weeks we will likely see this goal scored in either EASHL 3s or possibly even 1s mode, but really I just have to give EA props here because this is one of the few times where they got something 100% right. Uh, they added an incredibly cool fancy deke into the game, it's really hard to do but not impossible, and we'll probably see it scored in games at a similar rate to the actual NHL. Oh, I got what it. you do with your controller feels right and seems to match what your player is doing with the puck on yeah. ice and it is just so satisfying when you finally get it to work. So anyway guys, got it. hopefully this video kind of helps you uh, to get this move consistently and I'm sure before long we'll see some of you scoring with this move in a game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Good luck out there.